Hi, this is a Honda FG110 Mini Tiller, and I'm going to go over how you run it and just run it a little bit. I just took it out of the shed, uh, started it up, started up fine, uh, and I'm going to go over a little bit of it with you. Come on over this way. All right, so right down in here, they have a they have a little bulb there that you got to pump a little bit, and then on the back end here is your choke. You want to put it up to the top. You want to pump this bulb. Oh, I pump it until I can see it coming through the tube there. Usually like about five or six times. Okay. Then when you go to start it, there's a little switch here. Come over here and show the switch. There's a switch on the handle. It's in off on both sides. You put it in the middle, put it on. Okay. And again, the choke's up and I've pumped it a few times to get some gas into the carburetor and then when you when you go to start it you hold it here and you you really do not pull these very hard okay um, one other thing I should probably show here's where you put the the oil in okay you put your oil in right there um, and this runs on straight gasoline you're, you're not mixing oil and gas your oil goes in separately and one thing um, that I, I would I would advise against using it would be using gas with ethanol in it. You want to spend a little more and get some gas that doesn't have ethanol in it. These little small engines are great, but the ethanol will kill them. You'll end up having to put a new carburetor on one. This one has the original carburetor, but I have another one that I had to put a new carburetor on last year because I was running the ethanol gas in it. So. Stay away from gasoline with ethanol with these. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. Now, you don't pull this very hard. Just pull it kind of lightly. No, it's not starting up. It'll go. There it goes. When it first starts up, you just let it, uh, let it sit there for a while. You've got to listen to the engine, and you'll notice it. When it gets warmed up, it sounds a little different. This will probably take a little bit. This is important. You don't want to just start running it. After you've used it for a while, you kind of get the, you can tell when, when it's time to go. Right now it's rattling a little bit, so I'm waiting. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop this down. I'm going to drop that down to the run position. Still waiting a little bit. Sounding better now. Okay, now that sounds good. So when you run it, you want to run it on full tilt. Um, and it comes with like guide wheels and stuff like that, but you want to take them off. They, they don't work real well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, and this round is, is not been tilted at all. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and see how she does on it.
Okay, now you can see that if you're going to till your whole garden with this thing, you're going to have a lot of work. Um, I usually use a larger tiller to break the sod and then use this for cleaning up around the bushes and things. So uh, I'm going to go over here to the strawberry bushes and just use it to get rid of the weeds around them. Show the row what it looks like. Now, I just hand weeded these strawberries the other day. Um, and so you can see that the grass is growing up in between. And what kind of Look at that the row there. Now that's that's the beauty of this thing. This thing cleans up between the rows great. Right? This, that's what I use this for is for cleaning up between the rows. You can see how nice that did that. Go ahead and get on the, this row here. Show how grassy it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this row. That that took me about maybe a minute, maybe 30 seconds. And that's where this thing is nice. Not for breaking the sod. You can you can break the sod with this. But it's going to take you a long time, but once you've got your garden or your plants established, this is the best thing for weeding around them. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one here. 